Hey guys, Lee here from Vape Off Reviews. Took me a while to get this one up because of some issues with my iPad. Um, okay, so this is the last of the four Vaping Kings reviews, or Vaping King reviews. Uh, this is Venom, the bright green liquid. Okay, so this is from vapingking.co.uk. Um, a, a 10 milliliter bottle is 450. You can get your liquids uh, in 10. 30, 50 and 100 mil bottles. Okay, strengths from 0 to 24 milligrams with a nice 2 milligram strength which you don't really see in a lot of other places. I've got this one in 6 milligrams. Okay, this is supposed to be um, a, it's supposed to be an, an absinthe, pineapple juice and mixed berries flavour. Uh, when I had a go on this in the kind of preview video on here, um, I couldn't really taste the berries, there was a kind of fruitiness, but I couldn't put my finger on what it was. And of course, very decent, strong, fruity, not overpowering taste of the aniseed from the absinthe. Okay, so um, I'm going to pop this my MVP onto 10 watts and let's see how we go. Oh. Okay, you can see, like with all of the uh, Vaping King's liquids, because they're 50-50 PGBG, you do get a decent amount of vapour off them. Um, okay, so I still can't taste the berries in this, um, and there is a definite fruitiness still to it, but I still wouldn't be able to put my finger on it and say that's pineapple. Um, it's kind of like, I mean, this is described as being an absinthe flavour. I guess they're from the same the same flavour family, but I would say this tastes like Sambuca to me. Uh, it Because it has that added sweetness from the fruit, um, and possibly the berries, it does kind of, it does have a kind of sweet aniseed flavour. Not sickly sweet, not overpoweringly sweet, just probably sweet enough so that it's not overpowering aniseed. Um, but it does kind of give it a taste. It reminds me of Black Jacks, the little Black Jack sweets. So, um, yeah, the fruit juice in it really is more to kind of temper the aniseed rather than give it flavour. It doesn't really taste of pineapple. If you're looking for a pineapple juice, don't get one mixed with aniseed. Um, the aniseed does overpower the other flavours just as I thought it would. Um, but that being said, it's not an overpowering flavour to vape. It's actually quite pleasant. It has got that fruitiness to it that takes the edge off it a bit. Um, one thing with this is... When I've done reviews before of menthol flavours, I've talked about a throat cooling because even at a low or zero um, nicotine strength, sometimes with menthols you do get um, a kind of throat hit. It's not really a throat hit so much as a cooling effect in your throat. This is almost the opposite. It gives you a little bit of extra warmth. It's not uncomfortable or it doesn't feel like your throat's burning. It's very subtle, but the flavour just it gives you a, a little bit of warmth in your throat. Um, one thing I really like about this liquid that I've not had on most other liquids is that you do actually get something on the inhale. Um, most of the time you kind of you have to wait until the exhale to really pick something up. But with this um, Venom liquid, you do actually get quite a nice fruity inhale. In fact, I would say that really the bulk of the fruit flavour probably comes through on the inhale. Um, hmm. Still couldn't pick out what fruit it is, but it's, I don't know, there's a kind of strength to the fruit that comes through in the inhale. Um, this is like the Yorkshire Fog in that it is delicious whether or not you go for a mouth or a nose exhale. Um, if you've seen the two custards, the strawberry custard, the Queen's custard and the monkey jizz, you'll know that they're, they're not for me quite so great on nose exhales. The strawberry custard one, or Queen's custard, um, is okay. The monkey jizz for me is is not nice on a nose exhale, but for this, you do get a nice, nice um, aniseed flavour. It just tastes like the liquid really does um, through a mouth exhale. So it's a really nice overall liquid. Um, what I might do actually, 
probably end up killing the coil because it's, uh, I don't know what it is in here, I think it's, it says it's 2 ohms, I swear it's 1.8. Uh, okay, I will just go through for this one to see if I get the fruit flavours, go through some different voltages. So if I start off with 3.7, so kind of starter kit, unregulated batteries, um, ones that aren't variable voltage, so a lot of your starter kits that you can pick up. Still get the flavour, but it's quite muted at that level. I think this is a juice that does need to be heated up on a higher voltage. So um, definitely recommended 4.2. We'll try next. Definitely recommended to have a variable voltage or something else. It's still nice at a lower voltage, but it doesn't kind of. I don't know that. I think you need more heat with this liquid to get the heating effect in your throat to get the full flavour. Um, so. Getting a bit more now from 4.2. Still feels like it needs to be pushed up a bit more, so I'm going to be a bit daring and knock it up to the full 5 volts. Didn't explode, that's always a good sign. And at 5 volts you really are getting the kind of heat from the liquid and you're also getting that extra heat in your throat from the flavouring. Um, Oddly enough, even though this can't go above 5 volts, it actually tastes slightly different when it's at 10 watts. Bit more flavour. I don't know why. Maybe it was just a good draw. But yeah, so basically, very nice liquid. This is one that I wouldn't use as an all-day vape. I kind of pick it up um, and use it a little bit at a time. More so than a lot of menthol flavours, which I can only take a couple of um, drags of. But, yeah, this one is one that is quite strong on the aniseed. So if you're not a huge fan of aniseed, if you don't like blackjacks or sambuca or absinthe or aniseed, um, you probably won't like this one. But it is, it's quite strong on the aniseed. A bit of fruitiness to it to kind of level it out. Um, I do really like it. I do find, I mean, I've I've used this practically every day for the six days that I've had it. And it is the kind of flavour where if you overuse it, it does start to lose a bit of its flavour and it starts to become a little bit less satisfying, which I guess is true of most flavours. So this is one you might want to kind of use in moderation. Um, it's a really nice liquid and you probably won't want to. But, you know, it, it's not something that you might want to kind of vape non-stop. You might, who knows. But it is one um, that's a bit stronger on the flavour. So it could be quite good if you've got a bit of vapor's tongue just to knock it out. It's not that strong though. It is quite mild for an aniseed flavour. Quite The fruitiness does help, I think, to bring some of it down. But it's a really, really nice mix. Um, so, does it taste like what it's supposed to? Well, it tastes like fruity aniseed. And it's meant to be aniseed with specific like pineapple juice and berries I'd give it an 8 just because I can't really get the pineapple juice or the berries but I do get a kind of fruitiness so it's there um, what do I think of it I'd probably give it an 8.5 purely because I think it's a great juice it's not something I could vape all day because it's quite strong and the flavour does kind of get a bit much once you've been using it for a few days um, when you first open this and use it you're probably going to think you know it's like a 9 or a 10 and it really is a lovely liquid but just you know use it in moderation because otherwise it does tend to get a bit I don't know it, it's the kind of flavour that you don't want to overuse it because you'll ruin it for yourself at least in my case you might be different who knows your mileage may vary but it is a decent liquid. Um, there is something I've forgotten to mention, and I can't remember what it was. Something I've mentioned on the other videos. Oh, what is it? I just thought of it then. Um, I don't know if I've gone through the lovely design of the bottles, and the fact that it has a childproof cap and a plastic dripper. It's a standard plastic dripper. That wasn't it, though. Oh, yeah, of course. 
Um, like with some of the other liquids I've got from Vaping Kings, you don't really need to leave this to steep. It tastes the same, if not slightly better even, with a bit more strength to the flavour when it comes straight out of the vape mail. So with this one, like with some of the others you'll see on the reviews, um, just get straight at it. Don't worry about putting it away for seven days or whatnot. For me personally, I think the flavour from these liquids has actually, for most of them, has been better uh, unsteeped. A tiny bit of the flavour kind of is lost in the steeping. But then I have been using these every day since I got them, so it's probably just my taste buds have adapted to them and, you know, I'm not getting the same thing off them. That said, they are wonderful, wonderful liquids. I can't wait to try more Vaping King liquids. Um, yeah, so vapingking.co.uk, 4 50 for a 10ml bottle. And, yeah, that's it, I guess. So for now, that's all the Vaping King reviews done. Um, and I'll no doubt get some more soon to try and to share with you. So until then, happy vaping.